Gateway to Death Richard Kainer, mystery writer, wrote the gate to sorrow story career by this this as his key he opened the gateway to death. You cannot escape Richard Kainer. Come, you have delayed us for too long. Ha ha he he ha No no stop I not to go with you. Help help The terrible Richard Kinnear didn't hadn't been hitting off too re- well recently. This was his first reject, third reject, and now he's worried. Perry Anus, who had such chilling tales, looked at him dubiously. Terrible, Dick. Simply awful. What happened to you? I can't accept your script. Sorry, I tried. I gave it everything I had. You know, you did. I know you did, fella. But it certainly doesn't stand up as a good story. Look, why don't you lay off the stuff? Been swilling all those mumps, writing me something chilling. Or is what write me something chilling, really chilling. Okay, Perry, I won't let you down, you'll see. Ah, the same hammy junk, the same gibberish tripe. I've got to figure something novel. I must, I must. Hours went by, the silence was dreary. Night broke only by the sharp crackling of the tightway to rookies. Slowly, ever slowly, a great clock was forming on type paper of the author. I think I've got it. This doesn't do it. Nothing will. I'll put the setting off the, of the story. The world of the dead. Yes, that's it. It's about the gathering of monsters and supernatural creatures, Fest of the Damned. I'll call it the script the gateway to death. Thus Corinne had accidentally stumbled on the key to another well for his fingers flew over their keys. Strange shapes and thudded images arose, almost impeccably dissolving walls of his room. I'm getting sleepy, my eyes can hardly stay open. Funny, I can hear diff- strange noises. There's distant laughter. Aha! Yeah, what's going on? Here am I. I've been carried along with some gigantic wind. Moments later. Good God, I'm imagining this. It can't be real. Fantastic, horribly fantastic. And there, right before his eyes, a sight that no other world tour had ever seen was the Fest of the Damned setting I mean, his scribe, word for word, his own story. He dance brothers, make, make merry. But for evil shall rule soon he. Ah, kill goat's blood, we drink. Mortal souls, we still. Ha ha. And now to work, I have made the first suffering. I offer the pleading of sinners, the wells of murderers, the greed of usherers. The evil say this to the ever consuming fire. Ha ha. For we are the conscious of those who sinned on earth. He <laughs> he. What hell is evil? A horrible, frightening evil. I must have woken up. But even my dreams, I have to put this down. I can't think of it. I just think of it. Scripture and spectacle were the greatest find in my graduate career. Behold, a motor spies us. I would have broken the bell of the other world. I asked him to out his heart, for his body call out. His eyes, leak his liver, ha ha. Ah, must see me. I've got to run. It simply can't be real. I know it, I know it. But I've got to escape death to his mortal. He will cut out his tongue, smoke his carcass over the flames of death to the trespasser or the unknown. Puff, puff, I'm breaking away from them. I can't run as fast as I can. Some of them can't even walk, they just ooze or flow off the ground. Oh, let me be free of this. Ah, don't touch me. I'll jump, I'll jump. Aha, we have almost had you now beyond no escape. You cannot run further, further. You cannot escape us. Ah, ha, ha, ha. The wind burned and his face is fell. Voices mocking, laughter burst in his face, mind in abrupt darkness. And oblivion followed and slowly velvet ball increased the white visibility, finally unconsciousness. I jump, I jump my room, I'm back here. 
I've been sleeping this nearly morning. Oh, that was a nightmare. I'll never forget. So real, so horribly effective. Here, I described it in a paragraph. Just for I must have fallen asleep. But I have to write it over. It should be written as it saw it happen. <coughs> <coughs> no, no, not, 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 but not right now, later. I have to sleep. I had some sleep, some restful sleep. What dark glimmer of thought lay in the brain of that man? What did, had made him stumble the secret description of another world the next day? My mind is fresh again. I still recall those horrible, amazing hallucinations of last night. Let's see, how shall I begin? Hours after hours, Canaine wrote, revisited, embellished, modified his script. Hour after hour, seconds of his life, taken away into eternity, but he's rapidly approaching death. It's midnight when he put down the last word of the last sentence. Midnight, a dismal rainy night. The walking winds rustled and drooping branches of willow trees aside were dark shadows merged in divinity. Ah, well, it's done this time. Let's see, this is it. I can't wait to see Perry's face. He reads it. Oh, ha <laughs> ha, you! You, we waited for you to write the story. We waited to open up the gateway to our world. Now you can no longer hide from us any longer. I've got to lose him, grass, grass. It's no, well, nightmare anymore. This is real, horribly real. Ha ha ha. Puff, puff. I think I got away. I can't see anything. They'll never find me in these alleyways. Aha, turn around. Richard Cullerwain. Turn around and look upon us. Ha ha ha. They're behind me all the time. I can't see them. I think Perry can help me. I, he has, he is the one who started me on this nightmare. And let me, let me in. Wake up, wake up. Who's down there? Dick, Corrine? What are you doing here? It's dead of night. What's the idea of waking me? Pray, got to listen to me. They're after me. All the demons, help, please. You have to help me. Don't let them take me any way. Oh, so that's it. Look, fella, I told you to take it easy on those eyeballs. I have no idea, time for too many dipsy doodles. Good morning. I'll see you in the morning when it's sober. No, don't, Perry. You don't understand. It's the truth. I swear it, Perry. He didn't believe me. Stay away. Stay away.